So this is my review of the Eplo EPLO EP-E16 bidet toilet. So we're in the process of remodeling a half bath. So I ended up buying this um, box that came in. It's a uh, pretty good packaging. Uh, I didn't get a chance to take a picture of it. But uh, if I do get a chance to find one that I took uh, when it was delivered, I'll post it on the uh, edited video. In any case, uh, had a plumber actually install this. Um, so it actually came with that valve, right? So it seems like you will have everything that you will ever need to install this bidet. The best part, or at least the good thing about this particular bidet, as opposed to the other ones I looked at, is you actually have this bolt uh, <coughs> that actually gets mounted onto the floor. The others didn't. So, you know, I was really concerned about the bowl moving. Um, so I ended up buying this model instead or buying this brand because of that. That is very important. The last thing I would want is leakage in the bathroom, yet alone leakage in a hardwood floor, right? So that's the connection and it pretty much just kind of reroutes everything back there. I'm not sure what you all can see, but <clears throat> Pretty straightforward, right? Uh, I would suggest uh, hiring a plumber that could do this for you, or at least somebody that's knowledgeable. Uh, <clears throat> you do have this plans right there. Your eco mode, your flush, your feminine cleaning, and the rear cleaning. This is your display. Uh, I like this because it's very, very minimalistic. As opposed to the other ones where you have a massive display here. So I didn't want that. So I ended up getting this. So very, very nice uh, craftsmanship. Uh, seems pretty good. Uh, there is no leak, at least so far. Uh, I did check it. That was the first thing that we checked was the leak. Uh, I know with other brands, even Kohler, uh, there's occasional uh, issues where the bowl actually leaks. Uh, this one, uh, so far, none. So that's the bowl itself, right? You have your sensor right there. So if you want to flush touchless, you just kind of move your foot over there and it will flush. There's your IR for your remote. This comes with the remote. Uh, somewhere. So if I can find the remote, one second. That's the remote. Right. So you have your dryer. You have your rear. And you have your front. The first time you press it, it's just gonna be stationary. Water just spits out. You press it one more time. The Spray actually moves up and down. Okay, there's your controls there. Uh, water temp, your seat temp, uh, full flush and half flush. I think the good thing about this is there's an option for uh, you know a half flush. So if you just you know depending if you go number one or number two, that's definitely uh, a nice feature. So this LED right here actually represents the water temp settings so right now you can see change to 90 if i press it one more time it goes to 93 now there's three dots sure, it's a bit there. so go right and then if you press it one more time it'll go it'll turn off 86 90 93 96 99 okay i'm just gonna leave it at 86 that should be a comfortable uh temperature that goes same for the seat temp, right? So I would just revert it back to the default 86 or the lowest setting 86. So that's your remote right there. And you can mount that 
summer vanilla and this come with a double sided 3M. Okay, so toilet itself uh, does have a de deodorizing feature. I'm gonna turn the light off so that you can see it. So you can see now the light is pulsating. So now it's in the process of deodorizing the bowl. Nice feature. Turn the light back on. So this is not an automatic uh, up or down seat and cover. Uh, the ones that I was looking at didn't have the bolt on the side to mount the toilet into the floor, so that's why I opted for this. So, in any case, you know, it's still a soft close uh, lid and seat, which is a nice feature, right? So you can see it right there. Very nice. And let me just go back to the wiring. I did have to ask my contractor to run new lines back there because you will need power for this toilet. So now here's the bowl itself. That's your, uh, your sprayer. It comes out of there. And this is your vent. And the one thing I like about this is you know, instead of the water coming out from the top here, it actually goes in that vortex motion. And I'm hoping it actually would clean. I uh, haven't used it yet. Uh, I've just kind of been playing around with it. Um, but yeah, uh, that's the one thing I like about this. It, it goes around and I'm hoping that it would clean the toilet better. Uh, my previous toilet, the water actually comes out from, you know, up here around the rim. So here's a demo of, you know, uh, I guess a flush. So you press this. And this is a full flush. You see the amount of water it's using, right? But I'm hoping that that would be, that would allow you know all that residue in the bowl to get clean properly um so that's your sensor if you want to flush and those the sprayer and the blower will not work unless you're sitting in the toilet right so if you just try to lean here and try to like fake or trick the uh, the seats because it does have a sensor, it's not going to engage. It won't do anything. So, you know, I'll do my best. See if I can try to get it to work. So if there's, if you're not sitting and you try to actually engage it, it's not going to do anything, right? It won't. It just won't. <laughs> Uh, so it's a nice feature for sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit facing that way. So now I've, um, I've triggered the sensor on the seat. I think it's in the seat itself. So it dispensed a little bit of water. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this plastic a little bit, hopefully I don't get wet here. <clears throat> so now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the feminine spray. Okay. Yes. So that's the first setting, that's stationary. Press this button one more time and it's gonna move. Okay. So when you're done, you hit stop. It doesn't automatically stop on its own. And it does clean the spray automatically. 
uh, as it goes in, you can see the water is being dispensed. It's actually cleaning this, the sprayer. So I'm gonna do the rear. That's it. Okay. So once you clean your privates and you're ready to flush, uh, you could actually, I think, you could stand up and it would automatically flush on its own. So let's try that. Right. First, I gotta stop that, and it does flush on its own. So you have to stop the blower first. So once you stop the blower, <coughs> when you stand up, it will flush. It seems like it's doing a full flush. Okay? And then when you're done doing your business, you close the lid. gonna start cleaning. And now it's cleaning. It's deodorizing it. Right? So that's what it's doing. So that is pretty much the review for this particular bidet. I love it so far. I haven't had any issues uh, but then again we haven't really use it use it as in actually use it use it. I've just been kind of playing around with it. But overall very very nice uh yeah the material seems to be of good quality uh the toilet seat and the lid <coughs> is not flimsy at all right. high abs plastic i would guess and this is obviously porcelain very nice fits nicely in this uh bathroom uh the clearance from the hole to the back is 12 inches so just make sure that you do have that clearance for your hole uh yeah that's pretty much it I, I love the minimalistic look of it with that one lcd display there that shows pretty much everything you have uh, oh just real quick again yeah the eco mode press that one more time oops eco not eco so when you do eco mode your heat disappear it doesn't control the heat anymore so if you want your your seat warmer to be heated or your seats to be heated then you have to turn off uh, the eco mode okay and then again flush you're coming in and you're, uh, <laughs> this bugs right here I think they're just static. It doesn't move up and down. So if you want to be able to control it up and down, you have to use this fast remote. <laughs> Anyways, that is it. Thank you, and hope you I hope you like the uh, the review. Bye bye.